Was Muhammad a descendant of Ishmael? This is Daniel Amari from the Religion Research Institute. Uh, the content of this video is based on Dr. Rafat Amari's book, Islam in Light of History. Please find us at rrimedia.org. This is part two of the series. In the first series, we discussed the claims, the Islamic claims about Ishmael. And one of the most important claims is that not just that Muhammad is descendant of Ishmael, but also that Ishmael lived in Mecca all his life and the Ishmaelites after him lived in Mecca. So we're going to continue examining the biblical accounts of the Ishmaelites. And right now we arrived to the biblical account of the Ishmaelites of the 19th century. The Bible states that during Joseph's time, about the 19th century BC, the Ishmaelites were traders between Gilead in north of Jordan and Egypt. And this is very significant. Ishmaelites were in company with the Midianites. So the Midianites basically lived in southern of Sinai, while the Ishmaelites lived in the northern part of Sinai. One thing that is very important to note, that Yemen had superior spices, and their spices of Yemen were superior to the ones found in Gilead. So it made more sense for the Ishmaelites to bring the spices from Yemen if they were truly living and in, in Mecca. But the fact that they actually brought the spices from Gilead to Egypt demonstrate that actually where they were not living in Mecca, but they actually were living in Sinai. Furthermore, the valleys of Mecca were famous and were known to have quality balsam. Balsam is a kind of spice. It would make more sense for the Ishmaelites, if they were living in Mecca, to bring balsam from Mecca valleys instead of Gelad to trade with Egypt. Now, that is uh, the part that is very important about the 19th century. So we come to the biblical account of the 16th century and the 15th century BC. Moses lived part of his life in southern of Sinai with the Midianites. Moses described the dwelling of the Ishmaelite in the Sinai, and he uses the following description. He said, they lived from Havila to Shur. Havila to Shur. And the Bible defines these locations. The Bible tells us where Havila is and where Shur is. So let's examine Havila. The Amalekites fought the children of Israel in Sinai. Later, King Saul attacked the Amalekites of, of, of in, in the Sinai. And the description the Bible utilizes is he attacked them from Havila to Shur. What about Shur? What about Shur? Because it is from Havila to Shur. Shur, when the people of Israel crossed the Red Sea, they arrived to the wilderness of Shur. That is the information that the Bible gives us about the Ishmaelites between the 16th century and the 15th century BC, and it confirms the Ishmaelites were living in Sinai. The biblical account of Ishmaelites in the 12th century BC, so we covered the 19th century, 16th century, 15th century, now the 12th century BC, the Ishmaelites lived in northern part of Sinai. The Midianites lived in southern part of Sinai. There was an alliance between them. And the Midianites dominated that region so that the alliance was referred to as the Midianites. That alliance was defeated by Israel in 1169 BC by Gideon. Finally, we come to the 11th and the 10th century BC. The Ishmaelites had an alliance with the nations around Israel such as the Moabites and the Edomites and uh, the Hagarites. And notice all of these nations were directly surrounding Israel. The Edomites, Moabites, the Hagarites. The Hagarites were descendant from the relatives of Hagar in Egypt. Cain David subjugated the, the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites split into independent tribes that lived from Sinai 
to Jordan. In other words, these tribes were no longer known later on by the Ishmaelites. They became known by their new independent uh, name of the tribes. King David employed the Ishmaelites and the Hagarites in his army. The sister of David married an Ishmaelite. So clearly from the details and the accounts and the context that we are getting from the Bible, the Ishmaelites were living around Israel. They were living close to the Moabites, close to the Edomites, close to the, to the Midianites. This is very significant because the Islamic claims states very clearly that actually Ishmael and the Ishmaelites lived in Mecca and that Ishmaelites continue to live in Mecca after Ishmael. But according to the Bible, we clearly see whether we're talking about the 19th century all the way to the 10th century BC that the Ishmaelites lived in Sinai, very close to Israel. This is Daniel Amari from the Religion Research Institute. Thank you.